Hello and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. Newport Beach is a great place to live and the mayor of Newport Beach is here now to give us an update about what's going on in the city. Uh, welcome Mayor Rush Hill. Hello. Thank you. Glad to be here this morning. Um, thank you for being here. Um, what a quality of life in Newport Beach. It's a beautiful city and um, it seems like a great place to live. We do have a, a fabulous quality of life. Uh, we're very proud of that. Uh, we actually market the city as a lifestyle. And, uh, and, and it's not by accident. Uh, it comes from good policy uh, and, and a fabulous team that's involved in the implementation of that policy. We're very fortunate to have a top-notch staff, city manager, uh, directors, uh, all the way down through everybody that, that works really considers themselves as not only doing a job, but being an ambassador to the public uh, and the residents of our, of our community. Um, we have, uh, you know, life safety, uh, medical, schools, public and private. Our roads are paved and we don't have potholes. We pay attention to our landscaping. Uh, all of those things that, that make Newport Beach a, a very special place. You know, um, all of the things that you just uh, stated that you have, a lot of cities were caught off guard with our big recession uh, and yes. um, pension liabilities and just the recession overall really took its toll on some cities. How is it that uh, Newport Beach, you know, didn't have a little trouble in paradise during that time? Do we have a couple of days to talk about that? <laughs> Uh, you know, in, in an overview, uh, once again, by council policy, uh, the city manager and his staff were under the direction that they must deliver a balanced budget each year by making structural changes in the delivery of service, retaining the quality of service, but figuring out the best, most efficient, effective way of doing it. And through that, we, we were involved in reorganizations, we were involved in outsourcing, uh, we were involved in recomputerization to be faster and smarter and better. Uh, and, uh, and through the process, we did achieve a balanced budget each year. We understated our revenues each year, so we developed a surplus each year. Uh, and, uh, and so we came through uh, uh, the recession uh, in, in tremendous shape. Our employees participated in that because they, you know, realized sustainability is critical and so where, if you go back a few years, our employees were paying nothing as all throughout the state to their benefit package. Mm -hmm. This year, our employees will pay about 7.4 million, close to 7.5 million towards their benefit packages. And they're all working to where eventually we'll have all the um, employees uh, covering 50% of their benefits. I think we lead in the county of our employees participating in the cost of their benefit package, which significantly uh, it positively impacts our uh, uh, unfunded liability, if you will. Mm -hmm. So living within your means really helps. You know, right. We just have about a minute left, and there's mm -hmm. a lot going on in the city. Uh, continued improvement, parks and hotels and things like that. Tell us about what's going on. Well, we have a, a, a real dedicated program to building public facilities. So we have two parks under construction right now, Marina Park uh, and Sun Ridge Park. Sun Ridge is an active park. Marina Park will be a, a guest marina, uh, along with a, a beautiful bayfront park, a new Girl Scouts house. Uh, and uh, so those are two important projects. We're redoing uh, Lido Village uh, and uh, the whole Lido area. Uh, we have a plan underway for Balboa Village. Uh, all of these types of elements uh, are very important to us and we push that stuff constantly. Well, we thank you very much for coming by to tell us about what's going on in Newport Beach, it's, Mayor Rush Hill. It's always exciting to be able to talk about Newport Beach. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And glad you could join us, too. Thank I'm you. Leslie Layton.